slow down, up, slow down, up, slow down, up. Okay. Hey guys, I hope you're all well. For any of you that are learning to drive, I would highly recommend downloading the Ultimate Driving Course. There are 38 easy to understand videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. Just watch the video before the driving lesson related to the topic you are covering on that day. This will provide you with the correct knowledge on that subject, which means you'll know exactly what to do. So you'll get into the car fully prepared, which will speed up learning. This will definitely save you time and money on driving lessons. The course is still available at the special offer one-off fee which gives you access to all of the videos for 12 months. And here is a short video review from someone who successfully passed their driving test using the Ultimate Driving Course. Hi my name is Tahmid and I'm from London. I found out about the Ultimate Driving Course through the DGN Driving School YouTube channel as I was a regular watcher anyways. Um, so I knew about the course for a while. Um, before my actual test, honestly, I was not ready for it. I was unconfident and I was quite nervous about it as well, just thinking about it. Um, I regularly asked my driving instructor a lot of questions and the thing is, he wasn't always there as he was with other learners to answer my questions. So I had to turn to YouTube and honestly, YouTube has a lot of content for driving, but it doesn't always get to the point or it doesn't answer your question. But the dri ultimate driving course honestly was a breath of fresh air. It had all the videos that covered all the topics and they got straight to the point and answered all the questions I required or it just made me understand the topic much easier than a full you know one hour session with your driving instructor. Uh, the top three lessons that I found useful were probably the dual carriageway roundabouts and the planning and anticipation uh, topics because those are the parts I was struggling with. Uh, now that I've passed my um, test honestly um, I'm just happy I bought the uh, course in general because this course honestly it just gets to the point and tells you everything you need to know and I used to always watch it before my lessons so I know what to do in my lessons and I understand everything my driving instructor is telling me hey guys welcome to another video so today we have another mock test and today we have Laura who has come from Peterborough yeah yeah okay so um, for those of you that don't know um, the learners at turn up here they haven't had any driving lessons they, they just want me to assess their driving to see if they're ready for their test or not yeah so um laura tell us a little bit about your driving how many lessons have you had um i started my lessons before lockdown i yeah. had eight lessons before that and then after the lockdown um i've had around 15 lessons okay with a different instructor okay so you had eight before and 15 after yeah yeah so around, around 20 23 hours yeah something yeah okay cool so um do you think you're ready for your test or? Oh, well, my instructor says I am, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so your instructor thinks you're ready. Um, how do you feel? Uh, do you think there's any areas that are a little bit weak that you need to work on in your driving or? I think the biggest, uh, my biggest issue are my nerves. Nerves? Yeah, with okay. my driving instructor I think I'm driving really well. Okay. But when I do a mock test with a different instructor or something, I feel like all of my knowledge just flies out the window. Oh, you can't get more more nerve wracking than this <laughs> no, now, yeah. No, okay. No. So, <laughs> guys, Laura hasn't. You've never driven in Wolverhampton before. No. no. Yeah. We're starting from Wolverhampton Test Centre. You've never driven this car before. No. Yeah. Um, and uh, obviously, you never met me, me before. And plus, you're on camera. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah for someone who gets quite nervous, yeah, like that's I said, like this is going to be pressure. <laughs> yeah. But. Hopefully I'll get you ready for your test. That's our, that's our main aim for today, mm -hmm. yeah? Even if you do make mistakes, like you've been watching some of the videos, mm -hmm. people do make the mistakes, but they normally go on to pass their driving test then, yeah? The actual mm -hmm. driving test, yeah? So you, um, you said you've watched a few of the videos, yeah? Yeah. Um, like you've seen in the videos, um, I do talk about the faults just before they're about to happen, yeah? Mm -hmm. So any serious faults will be in red text, mm -hmm. any normal driving faults in amber text, but I won't say anything during the driving test yeah. about the faults. We'll talk about that at the end, yeah? Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so have you done the show me, tell me questions with you? Yeah. Okay, so um, could you tell me where you find the information for the tyre pressure for this vehicle? Uh, from the um, manual that comes with the car. Good. And when and how should tyre pressure be checked? Uh, with a um, reliable uh, pressure gauger when the tyres are cold. Brilliant. That's fine. The show me question we'll uh, do on the move, yeah? Okay. Okay. So, yeah, whenever you're ready. Uh, actually, just give me one second. Let me disconnect my phone from the car because it's going to start ringing otherwise. <laughs> I hope no one calls me. 
Is your phone on silent? No, it's not. <laughs> I forgot well, to put it on silent. I can do it now. Don't worry, just if you need to just ring though. It should be Nobody okay. should be ringing. As long as you haven't got a dodgy ringtone, it's the main thing. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So, um, yeah, um, before you set off your head restraint, it's yeah. a, just a touch too high. Do you think? Yeah. You just pop it down. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's better. Okay, right. So, um, this car, um, to start it, you put the clutch fully down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just left it on though for now. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. And the wipers, because it might rain, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. it was raining earlier. So the wiper leaves on the right hand side. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you push that up for me gently, that's on auto now. Okay. Yeah, if you push it up again, that's on manual, the normal low speed. Push it up once more, that's on the fast speed. Yeah, okay. yeah. so if you pop it back to the zero, and if you twist it to the side, that's it. That puts a back wiper on, yeah. And this is the faster one? Yeah. Okay. And to push, it's to clean yeah, and to that. fold the front screen. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if you could switch your wipers off for now, push it down. Oh. That's it. That's off now. Okay. So, uh, Laura, whenever you're ready, if you could move up for me, please. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's on. The car's is on. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's so quiet. So on your test, the examiner may make you follow the sat nav. Mm -hmm. yeah, we won't be doing that today. The reason for that because I forgot my sat nav. Okay. <laughs> so I'll make you follow some signs, yeah. Okay, at the end of the road, turn right, please. The view at this junction is restricted, so good observations are vital. Laura carries out the observations really well. Watch how she leans forward to get the best possible view. Ahead we have parked vehicles. Before steering to the right to overtake the parked vehicles, you should check the centre and right mirrors to ensure no one is overtaking you. Laura checks the mirror as well. When passing parked vehicles, you should leave around 1 metre of space just in case someone opens the door. Laura maintains a safe gap. There is a lorry obstructing our path. There are no oncoming vehicles, so it's safe to overtake. Laura makes a good decision and overtakes without hesitating. And if you could park up anywhere safe on the left, please. Mm -hmm. When parking up, Laura positions too close to the bus stop. If a bus was to park up at the bus stop, it would be difficult for it to get a good parking position. And move off when you're ready. When moving off, Laura does check the blind spot, but then waits to assess the vehicles behind. She should have checked it again just before moving off, but doesn't. When selecting second gear, Laura kind of loses the gear stick. not too sure about which way to go so she asks remember it's absolutely fine to ask the examiner on your actual driving test is there a straight ahead on this yes yeah, straight ahead okay. that's a bit confusing see you asked like that yeah that's absolutely fine to do yeah okay, okay. remember that for your actual test as well mm -hmm. On the approach to this right turn, Laura does everything well. After selecting second gear, she brings the clutch pedal up which is perfect. After bringing the clutch pedal up, it's best to cover the brake pedal unless you're on an uphill road. Laura presses the gas pedal, so the turn was a bit too quick but Laura steered well and handled it ok, but on other turns you'll see that it did lead to Laura steering too wide. the road to 
left, please. Now this is a steep uphill junction. Laura should select first gear around one to two car lengths before the end of the road and use clutch control on approach. She selects the gear slightly late, brakes too sharply, stalls and rolls back a little. If you do stall on a hill, the main thing is to react well, keep control, restart the car and move off. And Laura does react well. For more help on hills, uphill junctions and all of the topics required to pass a driving test, download the ultimate driving course. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Never been on such a steep up all junction. At the end of the road, turn right, please. Again, Laura carries out good observations before emerging out, but accelerates too much when moving. Park anywhere safe on the left, please. Mm -hmm. Laura parks up well in a good position and moves off correctly with good observations. Uh, move off when you're ready. Second set of traffic lights, turn left please. At this left turn, Laura steers slightly wide and positions over the centre white line when entering the new road. safe on the left again. Here Laura parks all well but after moving off she leaves a right signal on and there is a road to her right so this signal could be misleading. Thank you and move off when you're ready. Here we have another uphill junction. This time Laura deals with it well and keeps good control. We are approaching a pedestrian crossing. Due to the traffic on our right, we can't really see if there are any pedestrians who are waiting to cross and may have pressed the button. Laura eases off the gas pedal and proceeds with caution, which is good. Up until now, Laura has been driving well, but now she's about to make her first serious driving fault.
there is a giveaway sign and markings, so before entering the road, Laura should look to the right and give way to anyone who is approaching from the right. But Laura doesn't check until after passing the giveaway marking. You can see that I'm a little disappointed, as I really want one of you to pass these mock tests. It's been a while since we've had a mock test pass on the channel. At the traffic lights, turn right please. When waiting for the oncoming traffic at this crossroad, Laura positions too far back. She should have positioned more forward, in line with the road she's turning into. This roundabout, if you could turn right, second exit. This roundabout, Laura does well. She approaches and enters well and checks the correct mirrors before exiting. Now we're entering a car park in which I'll ask Laura to do a reverse bay park. She does make a serious driving fault. And if you could just stop anywhere here and do the reverse bay parking for me please. Okay. This is a vehicle that we almost hit whilst reversing. Laura decides to reverse into a bay on her right which is fine. She starts off with good observations, Laura applies a full lock to the steering and then stops to check all around before our vehicle swings out. These are really good observations. But when she moves, our speed is too fast and we get really close to the vehicle that is parked in the bay to our left. I had to intervene and press the brakes, otherwise we would have hit the car. Slow down. Okay, just keep it slow, yeah. Okay. And straighten your wheel a bit for me, please. Ooh. Stuck. <laughs> Laura wants to start again as she realises our car is not heading into the bay. Is it okay if I just choose another area because I'm stuck in here? I will yeah, you can just go back to the start yeah. and do it again if you want. This time Laura does end up inside the bay. I think she realises that she messed up earlier and isn't too happy. Okay, you okay with that? I guess yeah. I guess yeah. I guess yeah. <laughs> okay. It's fine if you can uh, move off from here now then. And go to the left please.
This is a spiral roundabout. Laura should keep to the left of this white line that appears. She starts off by following it correctly, but then drives over into the other lane. Both of these lanes can be used to turn right. Laura selects a right hand lane which is fine. She should stay in the right hand lane but starts to drift over into the left lane and then goes back to the right. This would have been a serious driving fault had she not checked the mirrors before drifting over to the left. Ahead there are parked vehicles so Laura has to move to the right. She checks the mirror as well and finds a safe gap to move into. And if you could park up anywhere safe on the left please. Now we'll be ending the test here. Let's get Laura's opinion on her driving. Let's go a bit more further down, please, just here. Thank you. Okay, and if you could switch off the engine, we're gonna end the test here now, yeah? Okay. You've been driving for about 40 minutes. Okay. Okay, so, um, how do you think you did, Laura? I did very bad, I failed. <laughs> I had at least one serious fault, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay, so having at least one serious fault, like you said, oh, you're driving decent, you're uh, driving all was very bad? No, I don't think it was very bad, but I See. got confused with some of the junctions. Okay. Yeah, because we have a bit more straightforward junctions in Peterborough. <laughs> okay, so um, what, what was the uh, serious fault do you think you made? The parking. The bay parking? Yeah. Yeah. What happened there, do you think? I don't know why. But I just checked for people, but I didn't check for parked cars. <laughs> yeah, you were getting... See, so yeah, speed was quite fast. So if you were a bit slow, maybe you would have had a look around and assess yeah. that you're getting close. Yeah. But you just like... Mm -hmm. Your speed was quite quick, yeah. so I had to just stop the car because we would have got really close. Yeah. And yeah. We were touching that car. So yeah, that was a, um, a serious fault there, yeah. So I'm sure you can work on that with your instructor. Yes, definitely. Yeah, okay. Uh, anything else? Um, I did cut the road to the people who wanted to go left on, on the junction, I think. Uh, what was that, on a crossroad? Yeah, that was a crossroad there. Like, I was going straight and there were there was a bus. I don't know, they would have waited after me anyway. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. No, that was, uh, there was an uh, issue there, but... Um, Indicators? No, indicators not a problem. I noticed that when I moved off, there was a junction and I didn't take it off until I was almost yeah, after it. Yeah, at, yeah, at one point it was a little bit late. Yeah. yeah but again, there was no one waiting. It didn't mm -hmm. cause anybody any danger. Yeah, so mm -hmm. if it doesn't affect anyone, it's not it's not a serious fault, yeah. Okay, but it's good that you're aware of that. Um, the other one that you didn't notice, yeah, it was um, a giveaway marking, yeah, mm -hmm. on the floor and you had to look to the right to check for any traffic coming. You didn't look to the right. Well, you did, but you'd already... In the junction. Yeah, you'd already passed. You was on that... You know, when we were on this on the busy road with a lot of parked cars and people, we got to the end of there, and there were some giveaway markings there on the floor. I didn't notice them yeah. at all. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you were looking out for the signs and everything, markings mm -hmm. quite well. That one, you just... You went into the road, then you looked to the right. Mm. Yeah? It is a tricky one. A lot of people do... Um, forget to see a sign there, but that can be like quite dangerous as well, like because mm. going past a giveaway marking without checking. Yeah. Just imagine there's another vehicle, a big lorry coming. No, definitely. Okay. Yeah. So that was your actual first serious fault, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we obviously you mentioned the uh, parking one, and then um, that roundabout. Remember when I asked you to follow signs to Warsaw? 
I uh, just was so confused in there. You did quite well though. That you, uh, yeah, you noticed you like you had to get into the right hand lane. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did your signal. Okay, and you assess the gap the car held back for you. You went into the correct lane. Brilliant. Yeah, you entered the roundabout well, and then the markings start the spiral markings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when the markings started, you were following it quite well, but then at one point you went. Oh, that oh, was by accident. I didn't yeah. mean that. Yeah. See, I tried to follow. There, uh, some examiners may let you off with it because there's no one around. But obviously, for the papers of this yeah. mock test, I'm going to mark that down as a serious fault mm-hmm. here. Okay, because you've got to be very strict with your lanes, mm-hmm. especially on the because that was towards the city centre as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. big roundabouts. You've got to make sure you're you're very strict with your lanes. Okay. And then when you exited that, yeah, you did check your mirror quite early. Yeah, but then you should have checked it again. Okay. So because again. In that time, somebody could have turned up there, yeah. Okay. okay. Other than that, your mirrors were next in the round, but we're, we're quite good, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah, those are your main faults, mm-hmm. the three there. Okay. So, the only three, that's yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, other than that, this, like overall, yeah, your standard of driving is, is really good. I like the way you're aware of stuff, and I like the way you like, if there's somebody parking, like there's at one, one point there was a lorry, another point there was a bus, you're always looking to overtake, which mm-hmm. is good. Yeah, you're not like too hesitant. Um, sometimes when the lights are green, yeah, it's good to obviously anticipate that they might change. But sometimes just slowing down too much. Okay. Yeah, the lights are green. Yeah, obviously don't increase your speed, but don't slow down too much either. Okay. Okay. So sometimes you just when it's clear to go, you're just slowing down and braking mm-hmm. too much, and that's holding up the traffic behind. Yeah. And I think the other main thing that you need to work on is you know your crossroads mm-hmm. when you turn right. Mm-hmm. Okay, your positioning there. So do you know where you're supposed to be positioning? Like to the on this, right. To the right, but uh, what you're doing, you're holding back. Yeah. So you know when you're turning, like when we turn right at these lights as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're supposed to go as forward as much you it, in line with your turn. Mm-hmm. You know whether you, you're going to turn. You're supposed to go forward and line your car up with that. Yeah. You're, you're stopping quite far back. Okay. Yeah. That happened on like... I'd say that happened three times. And yeah, I did notice that, yeah. but I wasn't sure whether uh, it was like a junction that I could like enter more because I wasn't sure how would the cars like if oh, okay. they would turn up oh, there okay. right yeah, would yeah, enter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't I wanted to leave them a oh, bigger. Okay, cool. But just um, yeah. the the way you can work it out is you know where you're actually turning. Mm-hmm. Make sure your your car is lined up with that. Mm-hmm. Just like your normal right turns are brilliant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but at the traffic lights. You're, you're holding back so that happened a few times like each time though there wasn't anybody behind us yeah that wanted to turn right otherwise you would have prevented them from going into the middle as well yeah <laughs> so see there's a little bit of luck there but uh, if there were cars there each time I could have turned that into a serious yeah. one so please um, your instructor and you you've done a brilliant job mm-hmm. yeah make sure you tell your instructor that Re- really good standard of driving these faults can easily be so because your test is coming up soon yeah mm. Yeah. yeah, you told me earlier when I picked you up. So it's in about a week's time. Yeah. I'd Another one or two lessons. Just just sort these little mm-hmm. little things out. Yeah. Okay. Positioning on your crossroads. Make sure you do a lot of crossroads with your mm-hmm. uh, instructor. Yeah. Hills. They were pretty good. Yeah. It's so hilly in yeah. here. It's it's like <laughs> I, I I do some people to take you to roads that are quite steep as well. Yeah. yeah? I I like to pick these roads that I think are quite challenging. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, but um, your hills. Uh, at one point when you stalled. Mm-hmm. Um, you controlled it well, mm-hmm. yeah. That's when you know when you say you get nervous, people get nervous and just lose it. Mm-hmm. But you, but you kept your control and you sorted it. Okay. Yeah? So as long as you keep control, just relax, sort it. That was fine. And one final bit of advice, you know, when you're taking your approaching turns to the right or to the left, yeah. so you're on the main road, you're selecting gear two, you're bringing the clutch up very nicely, all good. But then, just before you start turning, sometimes you're pressing too much gas. Okay. Yeah, and your your speed's increasing. Then you have to you uh, you find yourself having to steer uh-huh. quickly. Yeah, don't use too much gas. Okay. Yeah. So once you put the clutch up, start taking your turn. Then use the gas afterwards on those okay. turns because second gear will will give you enough momentum unless you're uphill to just take the turn. Okay. And then use it just once you're in the new road. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you just start using too much gas. Too much gas on your left turns. Um, I could remember too that you were you went wide on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because your speed, you're pressing the gas, mm-hmm. and then you're having to steer quickly. So not too much gas on these approaching turns. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But other than that, like I said, it wasn't an easy, um, easy route. Yeah, you did quite well. I'm pretty sure you're gonna pass your driving test. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you sort these a uh, few things out. Yeah, and uh, you'll be fine. 
Awesome. Any questions? No, thank you for this. Like, no problem. Yeah, <laughs> like I say, good luck with your test and thanks for coming all the way down, Laura. Okay, and guys, like always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.